In this lesson, I will discuss on how to solve for the resultant of a vector. For our problem, a person going for a walk follows the path shown in figure. The total trip consists of four straight line paths. At the end of the walk, what is the person's resultant displacement measured from the starting point? Take note that this given vector diagram is the same as a displacement of 100 meter to the east, then followed by 300 meter to the south, then followed by 150 meters in a direction of 30 degrees south of west. Take note, for the direction of 30 degrees south of west, it means that this is a 30 degree angle measured from the west going to the south, or it means that this west represent the reference for the direction and the south is the motion of the direction and again this is a uh, 30 degree angle measured from the reference which is the west going to the south direction then for the fourth displacement vector we have a 200 meters 60 degrees north of west and that is a 60 degree angle measured from the reference of west going to the north direction to solve for the resultant of a vectors first we need to draw all the given vectors in a single cartesian plane and that is a concurrent vectors wherein all the tails of the vectors are drawn from the origin let's now try to draw all the given vectors wherein 100 meter to the east is a vector located on the positive x-axis. Then for the 300 meter to the south, that is located on the negative y-axis. Then for the 150 meters, this is located on the quadrant 3, wherein it creates an angle of 30 degrees below the negative x-axis. Then lastly, the 200 meters is located on the quadrant 2, wherein it creates an angle of 60 degrees above the negative x-axis. To solve for the resultant of a vector, the magnitude of the resultant can be solved by r is equal to the square root of the rx squared plus the ry squared, wherein the rx is the algebraic sum of all the x component of the given vectors and ry is the algebraic sum of all the y components of the given vector. To solve for the x and y component of the given vectors, let's use this uh, table as a guide. Let's say that we have a vector of a having a magnitude of a. For the x and y component of this vector a, it can be solved as follows. Now, to solve for the Rx, which is the algebraic sum of all the x component, the given vectors, let's begin with getting the x component of the 100 meters followed by the 200 meters and so on and so forth. For the x component of a 100 meters, which is located on the positive x-axis as we see on the table, when the vector is located on the positive x-axis, its x component is equal to its magnitude. That means the x component of this 100 meters now will be equal to its magnitude, which is also 100 meters. Then, for the x component of the 200 meters, which is located on the quadrant 2, when the vector is located on the quadrant 2, its x component is the negative of the magnitude multiplied by the cosine of theta. Take note that this angle theta is the angle that it creates with the negative x-axis. And by that, the x component of the 200 meters now will be the negative of its magnitude, 200 meters, multiplied by the cosine of the angle that it creates with the negative x-axis, which is 60 degrees. Then, for the x component of the 150 meters, which is located on the quadrant 3, when the vector is located on the quadrant 3, its x component is the negative of the magnitude multiplied by the cosine of theta, wherein the angle theta is the angle that it creates below the negative x-axis. And by that, 
the x component of the 150 meters now located on the quadrant 3 will be the negative of the magnitude negative of 150 meters multiplied by the cosine of the angle that it creates with the negative x axis and that is a cosine of 30 degrees then for the 300 meters which is located on the negative y axis its x component will be when the vector is located on the negative y axis the x component is always equal to zero and by that the x component of the 300 meters will be zero let's try now to input this equation on the calculator to solve for the value of rx and it will give us a value of negative 129.9038 meters and this will be the value of the rx to solve for the ry this is the algebraic sum of all the y components of the given vector let's solve for the y component of the given vectors we're in for the 100 meters which is located on the positive x-axis the y component is equal to zero then followed by the 200 meters which is located on the quadrant 2 the y component of a vector that is located on the quadrant 2 is the magnitude multiplied by the sine of the angle theta and that angle theta is the angle that it creates with the negative x-axis. And that will be now the magnitude of 200 multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees. Then for the 150 meters which is located on the quadrant 3, the y component of a vector that is located on the quadrant 3 is the negative of the magnitude multiplied by the sine of the angle that it creates with the negative uh, x-axis. And uh, for that, the y component of the 150 meters will be the negative of the magnitude 150 meters multiplied by the sine of the angle that it creates with the negative x-axis which is 30 degrees. Then for the 300 meters which is located on the negative y-axis, the y component of a vector that is located on the y or the negative y-axis is the negative of its magnitude. And by that, these 300 meters will have a uh, y component of negative or minus 300 meters. Solving for the ry now, just input this equation on your calculator and it will give you a value of negative 201.7949 meters. Then, solving for the magnitude of the resultant using the formula of the square root of rx squared plus the ry squared, just simply substitute the rx and the ry respectively and the magnitude of the resultant now will be the square root of negative 129.9038 meters squared plus the ry of negative 201.7949 meter squared. Solving for the magnitude of the resultant now, just input this equation on your calculator. And therefore, the magnitude of the resultant of these displacement vectors will be 239.9920 meters. And this will be the magnitude of the resultant of the given displacement vectors. And for the direction of the resultant, that direction, which is our angle theta, can be solved by the formula of the arc tangent of the absolute value of the ry over the absolute value of rx. Take note, when we say absolute value, all we need to do is to uh, make the value to be positive. Let's now try to uh, substitute our uh, values of ry and rx respectively. And that will be the arc tan of from the negative of 201.7949 meters. Let's make this uh, positive, same thing with Rx. And that is a arctan of 201.7949 meters divided by the Rx, which is uh, the positive value of 129.9038 meters, 
just input this equation on your calculator. Therefore, the direction or the angle will now be equal to 57.2289 degrees. And for the proper direction, let's just uh, look at our uh, resultant by just merely looking on the sign of the Rx and the Ry. Since your Rx and Ry are both negative, it simply means that the resultant must be located on the quadrant 3. And take note that this angle is measured with the x-axis. Then, if you will now try to locate this resultant of the vector, from the vector diagram, we can draw the resultant from the initial uh, point up to the head of the last vector, and this is the resultant. And the angle that we solve is the angle that is measured from the x-axis, which is here, that is measured from the negative x-axis, and this is your angle theta, wherein it has a uh, direction of a 57.2289 degrees south of west, since this is an angle measured from the west going to the south. And this will be our final answer for the direction. Take note, we can apply a shortcut in determining for the proper direction by just merely looking on the sign of the Ry and the Rx. When your Ry is positive, you will uh, write it to be north. When your Ry is negative, that will be south, followed by the word up. When your Rx is positive, that will be east. When your Rx is negative, that will be west. Then, that's it.